We talked about when it comes to student loan debt, mm -hmm. women have way more, way more. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to general debt, men have, tend to have it more. And I gave the hypothesis that's because men are spending money to hang out with women. Right. Okay? Put it on a credit card, go to dinner, put it on a credit card, go to a bar, have a, have a dinner, have a drink, go to a club, put it on a credit card. Got it. Hey, you know, I could spend $500 a month on this Toyota Camry, uh, or I could spend $800 a month on this new Mercedes, let's say. Yeah. Well, I do want to get laid, and I don't want to be an average dude, so I kind of want to keep up with the Joneses, and I will put myself in more debt. Why? To impress women, to yeah. impress my friends, to keep up with the Joneses. So that is just a theory. That's a philosophy that I have. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's far from the truth. But so it's no, it's no secret that men are spending money on those things. Right. But I went down the rabbit hole. I said, all right, so they're spending more money on those items. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper. Let's talk about spending money when dating, especially on first dates. So I found this article out here. Um, who should pay on the first date? Thanks, Malik. So we'll kind of recap what some of this thing says. So um, first date. Uh, according to an online survey from the dating website Elite Singles, 300,000 singles were served. That's not a small yeah, number. It's a lot. 63 percent of men said that they should pay for the first date, whereas 46 percent of women expect men to pay the bill. So there's a disconnect. 63 percent of men are paying. Mm -hmm. 46 percent of women are expecting the men to pay, which means mm. So the women are really realizing the men is actually paying. I don't really understand how that numbers works. I'll go on. Mm. So when it comes to um, paying more when dating, mm -hmm. so I would consider, all right, we're officially dating probably after the three to six month mark. Yeah. First couple months, you're just kind of getting whatever. Let's say after the six month mark. So they actually track dating expenditures after the six month mark. Oh. And they said, according to men, 84% of men said they pay more than the women while dating. Mm -hmm. Whereas 58% of the women think that the men pay more than the women. Another disconnect. 84% of the men say that they're paying more. 58% mm -hmm. say that the women said that the men is paying more. Mm -hmm. Meaning I don't necessarily know if the women know that, yeah. that the men are actually paying more. Want to know why? Why? Girl math. Interesting fun fact right there. So uh, I think that men are paying to impress women. Yes. Okay. To get women, to date women. And I don't even necessarily know if the women are calculating how much it costs to date a woman. No. Paying for the drinks, paying for the dinners, paying to tip the guy, paying for the bottles, mm -hmm. paying for pretty much everything. Everything. Right. Who buys the ring when you get engaged? The husband. The man. Yeah. Okay. Women are needlessly just sort of being like, yeah, I don't know. If they, the man will take care of it. Mm -hmm. When we went out and got bottles the other night, someone paid the tab. Was it you? No. Do you know how much the tab was? No. Nope. Okay. Did you even think about paying the tab? Not even. Thought I knew exactly what it was. <laughs> okay. Because um, men are providers mm -hmm. traditionally but women are entering this you know feminist enlightenment empowerment movement right. and they're saying oh, well I can handle mm -hmm. myself too but still they do expect the men to pay for dates here's my last point women will practice what we call hypergamy mm -hmm. okay where they will not date down they will date up so it all depends on how you view dating up so it's been no secret that women want someone on their level mm -hmm. on my level mm -hmm. all right what does my level mean is it financially is it socioeconomically is it degrees because we all know that degrees pay fees skills pay the bills mm -hmm. here's my question a lot of times you hear a woman won't date that guy because he's a plumber or he's a carpenter or he's an hvac guy or he works with his hands or he's mm -hmm. a construction worker um, but if a woman is making 40 grand a year, mm -hmm. but the plumber is making 80 grand a year mm -hmm. or 100 grand a year, is that really dating down? What are your thoughts? If she's making... She went to college. Yeah. 
She got a liberal arts degree from okay. Oberlin College or Vassar or NYU, mm -hmm. whatever. She's making 40 grand a year. Mm -hmm. But she's dating a hardworking guy, plumber, mm -hmm. some guy who works with his hands, construction yeah. guy, you know, not a college graduate, and he makes 80 grand a year. Would you consider that dating down? Um, I think it also depends on what the girl values. If there's some women who say they don't value money, maybe they value something else about that person, and that's what maybe to them is dating up. Um, but if you want to round it together when it comes, you know, income what they make and the person, if you put that together, they're a good guy and they're making more than you, then yes, that's dating up. So even if it's a, it's like a blue collar job and she is quote unquote white collar, mm -hmm. do you think there's a lot of women out there that will be like, yeah, I'm not even going to give him a chance Yeah, of course. because of his career path? Of course. Because they look down on you know, traditional, hardworking, labor-intensive jobs. Yeah, for sure. Why is that? Well, today, you know, today being like you marketing yourself in a way of wealth and success, um, that's a bigger thing today. You know, back then, when women would see a man working, that would be more like, oh, wow, he's a working man, you know? Now, today, you, you just go on his profile, and you're like, oh, I see he has all these things. Like, he must have success. So I think the value of even watching a man work has gone down, and it's just a matter of what's on the outside. I don't think people really get to know men in a level of who they are, and then, you know, money follows. So it's the essentially judging a book by its cover. Correct. So they'll see a guy, the facade of a guy mm -hmm. that went to college, has a degree, works in an office job, mm -hmm. wears a suit. Yeah. Okay, but little do they know, maybe he's making 50 grand and he has 100 grand in student loan debt. Mm -hmm. Whereas there might be a guy in overalls, paint on his pants, mm -hmm. dirt on his face, yeah. uh, dirt in his nails, mm -hmm. That went to a trade school or a technical school or is a hard worker or is an entrepreneur or is building a business. Yeah. He's a painter. He's a plumber. He's an engineer. He's, he's an audio engineer. He's just yeah. working. Yeah. That might make double what that other guy is making. Yeah. But he's viewed as lesser. But even though he's financially better off, there seems to be a disconnect there. Yeah. Is it just because a woman will judge a man by... The outside. A book by a cover. A thousand percent. Today, that's more of where society is at. It's like, what is on the outside? And even men judge women on who they pick on the outside. You know, now it's different because, you know, at the end of the day, women, is, women don't really, like, have to financially support a man. But I think today, a lot of women maybe overlook those hardworking men. Um, if you ask me if I see a man, like, hands and dirty and putting in the work, sweating, like... I'm always, I always tell them, thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a great day today. Just because it's like, I know you're putting in physical labor as well, um, you know, as well as you getting to the point of you even getting a job like this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I don't know. Shout out to my hardworking men out there putting in the work, sweating and building things. Well, uh, look, there you. was a time when, you know, computers and technology didn't run the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the traditional hardworking man was respected. Yeah. Okay. He brought a lot to the table. He was the protector. He was the provider. And I still think there is a major element in society that should value that. Yes. Okay? I respect the hell out of men getting up every day, the crack of dawn, putting in work. Okay? It's become all too easy to sit at a computer, okay, um, for men and women. Right. And I'm not saying that a computer doesn't mean that you're not putting in work. But the facade of a man... Uh, who went to college and has his degree um, and is working in an office mm -hmm. um, is not all cracked that it's all cracked up to be. Right. Okay? The, 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 the hardworking man who built this country, that built the roads, that built the highways, that built the buildings, that built pretty much everything we sit in, work in, and live in, and go out in, I think there's a, there's a significant lack of respect for those men, specifically from women. There was a time that a woman would date a man like that. He's a hardworking man. He's a good man. He'll take care of me. He's there for me. Now, I feel like women will look down on that type of man. Mm -hmm. I just think that's unfortunate. It is so unfortunate. tell your ladies out there to give those guys a second chance. Because a lot of oftentimes those guys 
not the typical fuckboy guys. Mm -hmm. Those guys will actually treat a woman right. It's very true. And if you want me to be honest, I feel like with all the talk of relationships and dynamics, I think some more women, hopefully, are kind of coming to the understanding of valuing seeing a man actually work. And, and even men in, like, in office, watching a man putting late hours, coming home late, like, you know, deals happening, he's happy about his career, things are going well, like, those are still labor hours, even though they're not, you know, welding and, and out, outside. Um, but I will say today, you know, I look at a man and I see construction, I live where there's a lot of construction going on, I see these people up at crack of dawn, building cranes. I've seen them build this building from ground all the way up. And you can't help but appreciate the, the manual labor that goes behind it. So shout out to my working men out there. And shout out even to the working, like, ladies who even decide to do that. I don't know why you no, would do that. No, not many women do But that. ladies, you no. know, make sure you just, just be careful out Respect there. Respect those men. Yes. Ladies. Thank please. you. Please. Um, Malik, before we move on, you did a poll. Mm-hmm. What does the poll show? Drum roll, Malik. Yes, yeah, so this is by a landslide, actually. Uh, men, 90%. They, that's what everybody voted. Okay. They handle yeah. their finance better. Yeah. Makes sense. So I would say that men um, are better with money, understand money better, no doubt. Mm -hmm. um, think about money more. Think about making more money. Um, but the stats show that men have more debt. That doesn't mean they're not making more money. Right. Then that does not mean that they don't have uh, building a bigger business. But uh, when it comes to credit card debt, auto loan debt, more personal debt, men have that. Oftentimes, a man will take out a mortgage and the woman will move in with the man. Mm -hmm. I very rarely see that the woman moves, that the man moves in with the woman. That's just kind of beta vibes. But... Um, Oh, you'd be to surprised. Each their own. Sometimes men they live a very minimalistic with three socks. <laughs> <laughs> so when you have a woman who takes care of herself and she lives in a home that's clean, it's probably bigger. She probably has things organized. It may be even easier for the man to just kind of go into that space and um, you know, hair handle his three socks and whatever two underwear he has and grow from there. You being afraid of gold diggers <laughs> and you got three pairs of socks. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So if you like that clip. Click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.